Hello, welcome to Communication Skills for Everyone. If you are watching this channel first time, subscribe for more academic and educational videos. Today, let us learn the summary of the Matrior's Corner by R.K. Narayan. So, the Matrior Corner by R.K. Narayan is a short story. It has the theme of diligence, dedication, compassion, poverty, struggle, paralysis, corruption, security, and resilience. This short story is taken from R.K. Narayan's Malguri Days. Malguri Days is an imaginary town. This story is narrated in the third person by an unnamed narrator. And from the beginning of the story, the reader realizes that Narayan may be exploring the theme of diligence. Though others think that Rama only works for two hours a day by selling his goods, the reality is very much different. Rama spends from four hours in the morning to eight in the evening preparing his goods for sale. This may be important as not only does it show that Rama is hardworking or intelligent, but he is dedicated. There is also a sense that Rama is canny. He knows where to pitch his goods for sale something that is noticeable by the fact that Rama sits outside the cinema hall and waiting for potential customers. There is also a sense that Rama is compassionate towards others. He feels for people, particularly uh, the young boys who polish shoes on the street. He knows that they are off stirred and doesn't like seeing customers swindle the young boys. Rama is a good natured man he is kind to others and to his customers also he doesn't like to see anybody doing wrong Narayan also seems to be giving the reader an insight into life on the streets of India not only Rama gets to know each individual customer and their occupation but the reader is also given an insight into each character position on the street one of the most striking things about this insight is the poverty that exists. None of the characters mentioned, particularly the boys who polish shoes, have much. Everybody seems to leave hand to mouth, which may be the point that Narayan attempts to make. He may be deliberately highlighting the poverty that exists so as to show the reader that there are those who live in India who may not necessarily live comfortable lives. If people appear to be struggling on a daily basis with no possibility of change in sight, it is as though a whole group of individuals live their life in paralysis, doing the same thing every day with no change or prospects for the future. So it shows that most of the people leave doing nothing, with readers suspecting that those who live and work on the streets are forgotten and not part of the society. It may be the case that Narayan is exploring the theme of corruption. Rama gives some of his goods to the passing policeman and the occasional worker from the Department of Health. In order to that, they do not harass him and tell him that he has to move on or that he has to ensure that his goods are sold and displayed in a certain way. This may be placing a spotlight on the workings of street life in India and the power of that those in authority have and which they may abuse for their own gain. Rama has to pay those in authority because if he doesn't, he is unable to make any sort of living. It is also noticeable that Rama's wife is supportive to him. She acts as a banker while he does, does the work. She saves the five rupees that Rama makes each day and the reader suspects that it is Rama's wife intention that their life will improve through Rama's actions. There will be some form of change of, for Rama and his wife. However, the change that occurs is not what either Rama or his wife expected. So, the end of the story is also interesting as Narayan seems to be exploring the theme of security after a man is killed at the same spot that Rama sells his good. Rama sells go down. He is forced to move 200 uh, yards away out of the site for his uh, previous customers. This may be significant as not only 
uh, Nara in exploring the lack of financial security that has fallen on Rama, but he is again delving into the theme of struggle. Rama is struggling to make ends meet. Something that is clear to the reader when Rama takes home only two annas, where previously he used to take uh, or used to earn five rupees. However, despite the fall in income, Rama is able to adapt. He finds a job in a restaurant and begins uh, work as a waiter. This too is important as it shows just how resilient Rama actually is. His business may have come to an end but he still manages to provide for his family. Rama's remarks to the rude customer may also have some significance as they highlight to the reader the fact that Rama despite losing his business is still very much of focused on the future. He doesn't allow his fast to defeat him, where some men may have given up. Rama continues to move forward, even if he is no longer his own boss. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Communication skills for everyone for more academic and educational videos.